Okay, part two. So, took those clamps off. You take this big bolt out here. It's a 24 mil. These ones here are 22. Uh, 13 mil for the clamps. Uh, this needs to slide the side so that that big arm, the cross member, which is that there, can drop out. Can drop out. I've started. I've worked from the passenger side, just because that's where I worked from. It came out before, before there, and the test. So yeah, I don't see all the drama everyone says about taking us apart. This was easy. It's what you find rust-wise. It's scary, but never mind. Yeah. So that comes out, and uh, sumps off, bolts out, sumps off. Yeah, I think that's taken me a couple of hours to get to this point. That includes. But propping up here. I drove it up in ramps first to get the height to work on it. I don't have a pit. And then I, I jacked it up by the cross member. And uh, just make sure you don't jack it up that you can't actually get to the bolts. Because in the back up there, I don't know if you can see, you can, there's three bolts. So don't have this piece here in the road any spanners or you'll have to drop it all back down. I don't actually need it there just now. Just that that's I've kept it in there just now, even though I've got propped up. I've kept pressure on it, just for safety. Uh, it is propped up both sides. Bit precarious, but it's as precarious as it gets. So there we go. So now I'm gonna clean it. I'll give it a wee wipe up. It wasn't dirty. Uh, I'm gonna fit the a new sump and gasket and uh, yeah sweet this isn't too bad sorry for the hands and moving around uh, this isn't too bad but the funny thing is you can see where I put the gum through it came through but it's not deteriorated and through the sides as well it was leaking in the sides there you can see uh, down there Right on these bits here, we're leaking there. Uh, holes just corroded away. So, yeah, don't need many tools for this. 13, 24. I've got a couple of big Bosch rattle guns, and uh, that big one just spun all the nuts right off. I'm replacing the nuts, well, I've got a bag of new nuts here. The one side, the nuts and the uh, bolts for the Tie by a track rod in, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and two new bushes if I needed them. That was only £51. Uh, it's a new second hand sump. It's pretty good. It was still had part numbers on it. So I've got a new sump, clamp, new gasket. Uh, that might have cost me about £60, £70 for the two of them, new gasket included. Uh, so all in all, I'm going to get the job done for £125. I'm doing it. I've got I mean, it's a uh, workshop here, uh, just for some holy shit if anything goes wrong conditions, but no, all in all, pretty pleased so far. Uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you an update again. When it's all back together, I'll show you it's been back together. Cheers.